with Xbox 360 prices getting out of control, it made me think, what are the most expensive games in our collection? I'm Scott. I'm Jen. And we are Retro Rivals, and this is our most expensive Xbox 360 games. Okay, starting from the very bottom, we have Rumble Roses XX, double X. Double X. Double X. I don't know if that's supposed to be 20 because it's not 20. It's like number two. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, we paid 40 for this. It's and only, you got it on on, eBay. only on Xbox 360. You got that little thing up there. Yeah. Yeah, I picked it up on eBay. I kind of had a funny feeling that this might go up. And it was something I was like, yeah, you know what? That could be fun to try. Yeah. Minty, minty, minty. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. it going for now, Scott? It is going for, is that 87 you have on the list? Yeah. $87. Yeah. So I only got this. Maybe a year two and a half ago? Years ago? No, I think it was 21. Oh, okay. 2021. I don't remember the. We so, have a screenshot. We have a yeah. screenshot. Look at it that way. Okay. Next game on the list is Wet. I was surprised by this because I was too. I seen the uh, PS3 version today at our local pawn shop for like thirty, maybe thirty something. Yeah, and we paid fourteen ninety nine for this game. Wet. Yep. I see a theme coming out here. Uh, yeah. Huh? So far in the first couple games, there's a bit of a theme. Yeah. Complete. You know what? I'm gonna stop opening them because when I'm editing, guys, I hate this sound. Yeah. And I, you probably hate it too. You with your headphones on. I know you do. Sorry about that. <laughs> so what's it worth now? It is worth $93. Yeah. So considering How we does have... How that make sense? Is that eBay prices? Is that price charting? That's, what is that? That's both. I went on both and checked between the two and that's what it's going for. I don't even understand. How, how is the PS3 version so much cheaper? It's just artificially inflated right now is why I don't think unless you can get games for really cheap, yeah. it's not the time to be buying the games unless you can catch someone slipping, which some people might still be because the yeah. news is relatively don't, don't, new. Don't pay for prices. No, definitely no, it's, don't. It's, it's, Wait. These prices are... You're, it's, it's, They're, they it's will bonkers. come down. It's bonkers. PS3 prices yeah. have come they, down. They cooled off. They, they cooled. came down. They're a little more reasonable. Yeah. I'm sure wet was like... 50 or 60 bucks Canadian back when PS3 was hot. Yeah. Now it's like 30, so. Yeah. Exactly. Next one on the old list is. Yep. Saw 2 Flesh and Blood. Yeah. This one here you bought from a friend. I did. He yeah. tried to give me the friend's discount, so. and I was like, no, dude, it's worth more than that. So I ended up paying 40. He only wanted 20, but I told him 40 because we're friends. Like, I don't want to. Yeah. He's trying to give us the friend's discount, and we felt guilty for it. So. Yeah. <laughs> but it is worth $115. Is it that... is. Are these Canadian dollars or it's USD? Canadian. Canadian dollars? Canadian, yeah. So we'll put the USD yeah, conversion Jan up here, Yeah, will put the too. conversion up here somewhere. Yeah. But uh, Saw 2 is one that I want to possibly get to this year. I still have to play Saw 1. Yeah. But I hear they're not they're, they're not fantastic. But I think because I enjoy the Saw movies, I'll get I, some sort of enjoyment. I didn't even them. enjoy the movie. So. No, you didn't. No. This one here I always struggle with. What is the title supposed to be? Uh, Zoid's you, Assault. Is it Zoid's? I always feel like it should be just said Zoid. Oh, well, it's Zoid's Assault. <laughs> anyway. Zoid's Assault, another one only on Xbox 360. I do believe it's an Atlas game. Yeah, it Atlas. It is a mech kind of RPG. Uh, I do believe it's, I do believe it's tactics, but I can't remember right off the bat. So if that's the case, Jen will take that in. Yeah. Or make me look stupid. Or one or the other. Or one or the other. It, we paid $39.99 for this. I paid 40 bucks. Yeah. I was on a little kick there for a while, guys, where I was hunting 360 games, and I was like, I am not paying more than $40. Yes. Even if it's rare. Yeah. And I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited. And your waiting paid off paid because off. that's now so worth... Now it's worth... Uh, 116 116 Yeah. Okay. This that's, one... That's almost tripled, guys. That's almost tripled in like a, a very, couple of years. Very short amount of time. That's too much. So next on the list was one we hunted during... Uh, this one here might shock you for the price that we got it. We actually have footage of when we picked it up. We do. Scott, show me the game you just got. They're two for 20. And a bunch of them are like $40, $50 games. 
That was a cheap one. That's a $40 game. Those ones I could honestly put back because they're not worth as much. <laughs> this one is only It's not disc. Ken's Revenge, it's Ken's Rage. Sorry, Rage. Rage. My old eyes. Anyway, this one here, you'll see in the video we paid, it was like a special, it was like uh, two for 20. Yeah, and two for 20. you picked up a whole wagon of yeah. games. <laughs> so that was a $10 game. $10 game, there's it no is, manual. It is missing the manual. Yep. However, many of these are going for over 200 on eBay, yeah. but to be really conservative, we priced it at $120 without the manual, which is probably honestly worth more than that. It's probably more in the $150 to $175 yeah, range without the manual. I... It was going close to 260 on eBay. And that was like not one listing, almost every listing. I don't like I don't get it either. It's it's blowing my mind. It is blowing it my mind. It feels like too. this is an artificial inflation. It it does because yeah. of that fear of missing out. The FOMO is real right now oh, for guys, Xbox 360 don't, collectors. Don't do that. Don't do that to don't, yourself. Yeah. I've done that to myself way more than I should have in my then life. They there. probably won't listen to you. They won't listen to me because I didn't listen to them and that's just the bad part of it. Is, but yeah. Next one on the list we picked up just uh, a few months ago. Yeah, it wasn't all that long it ago. Was, uh, it's 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. Yeah. We picked that up at a local pawn shop and we paid $50 for it back then. I yes. think we did it with some trade value. We did. So we didn't even pay the $50 for it. We traded things that we didn't really want in our collection anymore. And it's now worth $160 or $145. Nope. $145. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I think that was the only that's, 50 cent game we were missing. That's, it's almost it's almost tripled in a couple months. Yeah. Almost tripled in like literally two or three months. And that's it's probably going to go up from there. It's... I, I am shaking my head. I'm like, I have no. Oh. There are no words. You know what? The great thing about it is, when I was, when we really started collecting games, we uh, we put a lot of our collection towards Xbox, the original Xbox, and then the Xbox 360 mm -hmm. because they were cheaper at than the time. Their counterparts, uh, yeah. The uh, PlayStation. Yep, it, it was. PS2 and PS3 were like stupid hot at that time, and I just wanted to play the games. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next on the list, uh, going with that theme from the first. I, I don't know why I got it. <laughs> One Chanabera Bikini Samurai. Yes. Um, do I have this on the PS4 also? I kind of feel like you might, now that you say it. I think it's a different, might be, it's, it looks like Z2 or, I don't know. I don't know. It's Roman numerals. This. Bikini Samurai Squad. It's not much of a bikini. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. What did we pay for this? Uh, 38 bucks I paid for this. I am almost 100% positive I got this on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have a screenshot oh, of that one. Oh, yeah, you yes. made me take a screenshot. And now it's worth 160 bucks? <laughs> 160 bucks? And you'll see the date on the side, because I remember yeah. taking a screenshot. And I do believe this one I bought in 2021. Maybe it was like, was that in March? I think so. And the last clothes, apparently, that the female protagonist is wearing the more the game is worth. Uh, that's just, that's just true in life. Math. The more, or the less clothes you, you guys wear, the more cost us men, I, just, <laughs> I swear. Another only on Xbox. Yep. How do you pronounce that? Cold, Cold Sep Saga. Cold Sep Saga. Yeah. I could have swore this was a gift from somebody. A friend. I know who well, a friend gave it to no, me. No, because look. There mm -hmm. is a price tag on the inside here, unless he left it there. Can't see it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, our price tag on the inside. Thanks for opening that up. We don't have a manual for it, but the price tag in here says thirty-four ninety-five. Mm -hmm. And I, I hate that sound. Yeah. <laughs> And the uh, price it's going for now is 150 bucks. Yeah. Now, I did, I have this at number three, and maybe it should have been put at number four. But that 150 bucks is being very generous. It's because probably... Because we don't have it complete? It, because we don't have complete, but even at 150 bucks, I think it's more than uh, Bikini Samurai. I think it's probably closer to 175 without the manual yeah. because it's going well over 200. So we have a couple games in here that were missing manuals. Yeah. And that kind of bugs me as a collector. It does bug me too. If any of you guys have the manual and want to trade for something that I have. I have manuals for like N64 and Super Nintendo yeah. games and stuff like that. If you guys want to trade, 
I'm also looking for a Chrono Trigger man. Yeah, too. hit us up in the comments. <laughs> okay. This one is probably on everyone's radar. Yes. And uh, it is We've had this every crazy. which way you can have it. Yes. There was a special edition. Yeah. There was the regular edition. Yeah. And now there's the gold edition. Yeah. <laughs> the gold edition of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I think it's because it it has all, all the, the DLC. DLC characters that you could get at the time. Yeah. This one's stupid expensive. It's going for... Well, we bought it. For, it's, we, it says on the list we, we bought it for $99. I know for a fact we had, like I said, we had the regular version. Yes. We did some trades and then we got, I think it was called the Special Edition. edition. Yeah. It was kind yeah. of like a silver... Yeah, and that's I, why I wanted to keep calling it the silver. This was edition. the one I always wanted because it's gold. I don't yeah, know, I don't know why. And then we traded that one a couple years after that again towards this one. Yeah. So, so I really think all we paid for this one was probably in that sixty-five dollar range probably. because we had initially picked the first one up of around fifty-five, and there was a ten dollar difference at the time to trade in for this. So we were like, let's just yeah. spend the ten dollars and trade it it's like and get copy. that. <laughs> okay, so. What's the what's that going for now? I just said it, didn't I? Two hundred and fifty no. bucks? No. Oh, did you? I okay. I did. You might Maybe have. I did not. <clears throat> anyway, it's going for two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. And we yeah, it's it's crazy. That's it's, it's crazy. Mind boggling. Mind boggling. Yes. The next thing on our list is not a game. Is not a game. But it's some accessories. It is Xbox three sixty. Yes. Let me show you. We have this, and yes, we do have the whole thing, and I will take pictures of the, um, there's like a little kind of banner that goes in front oh. of the drum kit. Your drum's a little bit bubbled on A little bubbled. Side. Um, there's a banner that goes in front of the drum kit, and uh, it says the Beatles on it, and there's the guitar. But this we got during COVID. Everybody was Everybody collecting. Everybody was going crazy for rock band. Yes. Yeah. It was because they were stuck in the house and they were like, what can we do? We can play Rock Band. Well, we found it on Facebook Marketplace. I think he was asking 80. And I said, will you take 40? Because there was no way for me to <laughs> test it at the time. We yeah. met in the middle at 60 and I bought the whole set. It all it, works. It all works. Yeah. And I bought it for 60 and it is now worth over $300. The reason I don't have it listed higher because it's listed at 360 some on price charting is wow. because I don't have the branded Beatles pedal. It's a different pedal. I don't oh. know if they came with two different pedals because this is the one he gave me and it still had the plastic blue wrapping on it. Yeah, yeah. So everything besides the box we have for this set. And I was going to try to trade it at some point. I know I was going to trade it to Parlor, but they already had a rock band drum kit, and they were like, we don't want they to. They had a rock, just a normal rock they band had a drum kit, one. and it sat there forever. Yes. And somebody finally bought it. Yeah, so at that point, I was just like, maybe we keep it. And yeah, now Jen it's loves worth, breaking drums anyway, I do so. love breaking drums. Oh, I haven't yeah. touched this one yet, but somebody no. did. Yeah. But yeah, apparently this is worth over $300 and that is just mind boggling to me. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. But they're breaking down more and more all the time. So it mm -hmm. just, you know, stands to reason that if you still have working equipment and for rock bands, or like, it's yeah, going to continue to go Especially the drums, like you're, yeah. you're hammering those pretty hard. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So let's get this out of the way. One second. All right, guys. So that's our top 10 most expensive games on the Xbox 360. Games and items, I guess. Games and items. <laughs> Tell me, guys, in the comments, what do you think? Do you think these prices are going to continue to go up, or do you think this is artificial inflation? People have that... Uh, FOMO. I hate saying that word because I, I know. know I'm going to say it the wrong way, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm absolutely baffled at the prices right now. Yeah. And... Uh, I just, I'm thankful we have what we have right now. And there's yeah. not a whole lot that I would want to put in the collection, but there, there's a couple that I, I just kind of gave up on. Yeah. They just kind of got out of reach. At this point, I think we have to wait till the market cools on the whole fear and just try to see if we can get them afterwards. But <laughs> until next time, game on.